So this video is for my submission of lab two of CCS 346. Uh, my partner is Nicholas Bishop. And um, yeah, so before we get into the main, um, I define port A and port E. Um, and of course, those are the ports I'm going to use, port A being input and port E being output. Um, then I declare west and south. West is going to be the input of PA2, and south is going to be the input of PA3, which I should probably comment. Then, of course, I uh, uh, this code was actually given, the enable interrupts and, and uh, disable interrupts. However, I do add a port A in it and a port E in it because I have to declare it before main. And I also declared delay, which is a function that we used in lab one. Uh, however, we changed it a little bit so that it can delay um, a light switch by one second. Okay, so we call port A and port E, um, and we also start the lab with uh, the red LED being enabled. So essentially, um, before we move on and uh, start testing the switches, just the LED is gonna be on, the red LED is gonna be on. Um, okay, so here, as I said earlier, West uh, takes in PA2 and South takes in PA3. Okay. And for the first if statement, we're checking if south is closed. So if, if, if the switch is closed, then the signal is traveling um, to the board. And however, it also checks if the red LED is also on. So if both of these are true, then it enters the if statement and it turns off the red LED and enables the green LED. Then in the second else if, uh, the same, same logic applies. Essentially, we're checking if the west switch is closed, just PA2. If it is, then signal travels. However, it also checks if the green LED is on. And if it is on, then it turns off the green LED and it turns on yellow. And almost instantaneously, inst instantaneously after that, um, with the third else if statement, we're checking if the if the yellow LED is on. So of course, after after the uh, after west is closed, or or uh, I should say on, then signal traveling. So of course, it's gonna go yellow, meaning that the Third else if it will turn on in the next loop because yellow's on and it's gonna turn it off and it will enable uh, the red LED. Now, if following this logic, if both switches are turned on or closed so that signal is traveling, then the, the, the LEDs are gonna cycle from red to green to yellow. Okay, so here is my code for uh, port A. So we have port A clock and then we have the delay we're allowing um, changes uh, to PA3 and PA2. So those are the two uh, ports that we're gonna use as input. Uh, we don't need an analog function and we're carrying PCTL. And then we use, uh, so we're just gonna have uh, the DIR set to zero and that just enables inputs in general for port A. Um, there's no alternate functions. And um, so zero C is essentially, it, it denotes, uh, C denotes 12 in hex. Um, which will, which essentially is one one zero zero, and if converted into the uh, the bit numbers for the ports, then we get PA two and PA three. This is essentially the same thing for port E. However, port E is going to be an output, so we enable the clock and the delay. And this time we're allowing changes to PE zero to two. So uh, that is zero seven. Uh, zero seven. If if you convert that, it's uh, zero uh, one 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 which is, if you convert that to bits, is P0 to P2. We're disabling analog function and clearing the PCTL. And again, for the DIR, we're using 07 because we need uh, P0 to P2 for output. So again, it's 0111, and that correlates to P0 through P2. There's no alternate functions. Um, and uh, we need, of course, we need the pins enabled so that there could be an output from the board. Finally, we have the delay. In the delay, we're uh, essentially, we're just multiplying the function that was given to us in lab one by 10. Um, uh, yeah, so pre without the times 10, it'd be a 0.1. So of course, multiplying by 10 equals one second. And uh, now we could see it on the board. So if I come up here. So we can see that I already connected it to my computer um, for power. So the red, the red LED is on. Okay, so the first test is south, so south and red. So this bottom switch is south, which is a PA3. If I flip it, it should go to, um, uh, oh, actually before I even do that, 
this is positive logic. So we can see the I'm sorry, the resistor is going to ground. Uh, we got a signal traveling to the board from the switch um, uh, using voltage. So of course that's a uh, positive. Um, if the resistor was uh, to voltage, then it would be negative logic, but we have it to uh, ground. So it's uh, positive lo logic. Okay. So now if I flip south, um, it should go green. I'm sorry, it's the other way. There you go. So you see red turned off and um, and green turned on. So now we're going to shut that off and flip. Yep, there you go. Flip west and it went yellow. And then it instantly went to red. Now, if I switch south back, so it, so it going to red is the third if statement. So that is correct. It seemed like it was wrong, but that's right. Um, now, if I switch south as well, so we, we have flip, uh, we have west on currently. If I flip uh, south on, it should cycle from red to green to yellow. So that actually kind of looks like yellow, but that is red. <laughs> See, yellow's in the middle. Um, okay, so I will flip south now, and it should go to green, then to yellow, then to red, with a one second delay in between each uh, change. Green, yellow, red. Okay, and again, that is positive logic. Um, if you, you, we can see the uh, the wiring here. So red goes to this red wire goes to west. So that's PA two. Per the uh, yes, the purple wire goes to PA three. Um, I have power into the breadboard, powering the switches. Uh, as I mentioned, the resistors go to ground. Um, and oh, and these are uh, 10k ohm resistors. These I used up here are 1K ohm resistors. Um, if there were no resistors, those LEDs would probably uh, just explode. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, also the uh, these uh, these wires here, um, and there's actually one more, this brown one. It's P0 to P2 connected to the board, uh, sending the signal from the board to the breadboard to the LEDs um, with the resistor in between. And yeah, so that is lab two. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything, um, but yeah, thank you.